thanks for coming back. Welcome back to From the Ground Up with Mika. I just want to give you a quick update. I know I said, you know, last week it was going to be me posting something on the weekend, but got a lot, of, a little busy, feeling a little bit under the weather. So um, I did want to get on here and give you guys a quick update because there has been a lot of progress since the last time I talked to you. So we have framing completed. They were working on the roof yesterday, small little portion they had to finish. I'm sure they knocked that out yesterday. It was yesterday morning where I got a picture showing the update and I'll insert that so you guys can see it. But framing is done, super excited. Now goes in the rough mechanicals. So still on pace for end of August, beginning of September, as long as we don't have any delays. So hopefully windows and doors are in i hope my fingers are crossed i haven't asked but we'll see i wanted to give you a quick shopping haul though so went out to home goods tj maxx and found a little cute store called pop shelf which had a lot of a lot of neat little things so i'm gonna show you what i guys i got from there so hang on so pop shelf is like um, I think it's part of the Dollar General. So they've got lots of cute little items for cheap. Nothing in there that I seen was over 10 or 15 bucks. So got this little cute candle holder. I don't have a price tag on this, but oh wait, here I do. Yeah, but it still doesn't tell me how much it was. But I think this was maybe five dollars if that. So that was cute. Then I got a little ceramic vase. So my colors for the house are gonna be cream, black, with a little bit of sage green. And I don't know if you guys can tell from the video, but this is like a, a greenish color. And it was only six bucks. So got that. Another candle holder, just like the first one. I don't know where I'm gonna put them, but I thought they were cute, so. All right, and then my youngest daughter wants like a botanical, not really botanical, but more bohemian theme room. So I found this cute little planner to go in her room. She wants some greenery, so we could put something in there. I had another one too. That must be in another bag. I don't know what I did with it, but there's another one somewhere. I thought they were cute. Then I got this little sign. This was six bucks. I don't know where I'm gonna put this. I just thought it was cute because it's got, you know, the black, the green, and the cream. That's a little creamish. So put that somewhere in the house. Then found this pillow. It's so good to be home. A little patio pillow. I'm gonna stick this outside. I'm probably gonna get some black chairs to go outside on the front porch. And I thought this would be cute to go on the front porch with it. And this was only 10 bucks. So I don't know, Pop Shelf is a cute little store. I kind of liked it, so we'll see. Then I got, you know how people are coming over, the kids and their friends. Well, what's your Wi-Fi password? So I got this to go on the console table as soon as you walk in the door, like you'll see this. And it's chalkboard right here. So I'm just gonna write our password right here on the chalkboard. So I thought that was a cute thing. And this came from Big Locks actually, and it was only eight bucks. So why not? I got this to go in my home office. Let me stop, let me drop everything to work on your problem because you know, no matter if I'm working or not, that's what people in my house think. I stop what I'm doing right when I'm doing it and fix up for them. Then, here's my other bag from Pop Shelf. So I got this cute little table stand. I was thinking it can go outside somewhere by the door, on the entryway door. Small little table, $10. I could put like a planner or something in it and I'll put it together. Something itty bitty. There we go. But I thought that was cute. Okay. 
And here is my other planner that I was saying for my daughter's room. See how that person is sitting? I'm gonna put a little succulent plant in it. And then we got this one. So I thought those were neat and she loves them. So we'll get those somewhere in her room. I got this for her room as well. Um, just a cute little snake plant from TJ Maxx. This was only 13 bucks, so I said, hey, we'll put that on her desk, her dresser, somewhere. Somewhere for her to see. Home goods had a lot of stuff too. Little candle holder from home goods i thought this was cute um what i might do is sit this on our kitchen island because i got this tray from ikea and i really am thinking about spray painting this like a matte black color sitting the candle on it and then i've got Oh, let me pick it up. I've got this plant here from Home Goods. I was gonna stick that plant on it. And then maybe like get our initial of our last name put right here. But just something to go on the kitchen island for some decor. I thought that would be really, really cute. Other little stuff I got from Home Goods and TJ Maxx, I got little utensil rest so I don't mess up the counters. The counters are granite. And then I really wanna go for a minimalistic vibe. So I don't want a lot of stuff sitting on our counters. So I bought this knife organizer to go in the drawer so I don't have the knife block sitting on top of the counter. So we'll see how that works out. And this was only, it was only eight bucks. So if it doesn't fit or if I don't like the vibe it's given. I won't put it up. Um, did get a couple of pictures. This, I thought it was cute. I'm gonna put it in my office. Um, the color theme of my office is really gonna be like black and gold and hint of pink. So I thought this went very well with it. And they also had another one that mimics it or matches it so i thought these were cute and they were only 10 bucks each so i went ahead and picked them up and then my oldest daughter found some pictures she wanted to so she got that one which i thought was cute and this one i thought this one was cute too and that one was only 10 bucks well, they were all in 10 bucks, so that's good. Then I found little kitchen rags. They're the sage green color that I wanted, so I went ahead and picked them up while I seen them. And I've been watching YouTube videos where they're taking like glass vases and are doing like acrylic paint mixed with baking soda to give it like a texture. So I got these little vases from Ikea. I got two of them. So probably this weekend, I'm gonna see if I can't do the same and probably put like, I don't know, you know how they put in like one stem of a eucalyptus thingy in here or something? I'd probably do something like that just to, just to see how it works. I don't know where I'm gonna put it, but I just seen them and I was like, hmm, I'm gonna try that. So, got that. And then for my baby girl room, I told you she wants like the bohemian theme. She wants to do a card wall because her older siblings have cards, a uh, picture wall on, the, um, on their wall. So we've got like just cards. That's really a lot of greenery, green and beige. So probably the greenery is what she wants up. I'm gonna make her go in here and pick just the picture she wants on her wall. J just give it a, oh, that's upside down. Whatever type of vibe she wants to go for, so. 
she'll have that. We've got a little teepee to go in her room in the corner. She likes to make her own little huts or forts or whatever you want to call it and just be to herself reading or watching YouTube or whatever. So we got her that. She's excited about that. And then we got Soleil who is in anime. She wanted a card wall as well. So she wanted anime on her wall. So we found some black and white anime cards We'll hang that up for her picture wall. So she is excited about that. Like when we do their room, I really want their rooms to scream their personality. So, you know, Soleil is into music and anime and Marvel. So we've got the anime walls. Um, I probably see if I can get her like a Marvel movie poster of her favorite movie. And then I actually went to the Goodwill and bought some records. So I'm gonna clean them up and hang records on her walls or on one wall and then like have the vines and the lights strung in between them. So I'm gonna do that for her. For Myla, she is just bohemian. So she just wants that type of style. All I have for her so far are the cards. I don't know what else I want to put on her wall or what else she wants to put on her wall. She hasn't really mentioned anything to me yet. So we'll see with that. And then for the oldest, do what they want. I mean, it doesn't bother me. They're gonna do what they want anyway to it. But another thing I found from Home Goods was Little Globe. Like I told you, black and gold in the office with little hints of pink. So this is black and gold. Thought it was cute. It was actually on clearance, 10 bucks. So I went ahead and scooped that up. And that's actually all I got from TJ Maxx and Home Goods. I did go to Burlington though, because for the kids' bathrooms, I want to do like a, a glam theme. I mean, they're they're small, not small, they're 10 and 11, but they're coming, you know, into those teenage years. So I wanted something that be able to grow with them and I wanted it to be girly. So got some black bathroom rugs. No, you can see them. I got three of them actually. And then I found this soap dispenser at Burlington. Kind of blinged out. So I've got this and I'm gonna see if I can find other stuff to match this. But I seen a shower curtain at Target that was white and written in black letters that said, hello, gorgeous. So I'm gonna go ahead and get, um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and buy that. And then I find, I'll find some something to hang on the wall that's glamorous for them. Oh. And I also found this at Burlington, something to hang in the mud area when we come in the garage, from the garage. Keys, please, hang your keys up on it. So we'll go ahead and put that up over there somewhere. But yeah, that's about all I got so far. Um, you know, black and cream is really my thing. So I was looking for some artwork to go along with that theme and I didn't really find none that I liked so I've been watching videos and I think I'm going to attempt to make my own artwork this weekend. Hobby Lobby actually has the canvas on sale so I'm gonna go pick up a couple of canvases, pick up some acrylic paint and because I want texture on this I was um, looking at spackle was the best thing to use. So I'm gonna pick me up some spackle too. So I'll do that and I'll film that most likely this weekend, it's holiday weekend, I'm off on Monday. So it'll give us something to do. I'll um, see if my kids will help me with that. I think that'll be a cute little project to say we all did together. Um, yeah, but wanted to give you guys a quick update, let you know what I've gotten so far from the house and, may go out again this weekend not sure 
I don't really know if I need to buy more stuff right now or just wait until everything comes together. I do have to go look for a sofa for the living room. So I may take you guys along with me while I'm shopping for my sofa. I want a cream sofa. Right now we've got a dark gray sectional and I'm gonna put that upstairs in the loft area. So for the living room, I want it to be a little bit lighter. So let me get that, we'll look for that. And then we're gonna get a new dining room table, but I've already found the dining table already. That's at Ikea. So chairs and the table is gonna come from there. So, um, and I gotta get Soleil a new bedroom set too, cause she wants a white, a white set. So whenever I go shopping for that, I of course will bring you guys along with me. But until then, take care. And oh, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. Go ahead and do your thing. Thank you.